Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in a new video of project management. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about what is a resource and how we can utilize in MSP. Resource can be provided with respect to the band power and with respect to the material. You know, it is very important to understand this particular phenomena. Without that, you cannot further proceed for the resource costing. You cannot further proceed for the cost overrun, whether it is possible or not. What is a cost overrun? Cost overrun means the excess cost required, okay, with respect to whatever you plan, okay, and with respect to the durations too. So the cost overrun, time overrun, all the scenario can be identified, can be justified with respect to resources only. So here we are preparing one plan of G plus 10 story building, a rest, rest work for the next stories you need to prepare. Okay, that is exercise for you. Okay, so first of all, we are going to hide this successor column. So just select right click and hide, click on hide column. Okay, after that, I want to add the resources over here. Okay, but before that, you need to click here and click on a resource sheet. There is a different different format of the resources like resource sheet, resource usage, resource form and resource graph. Resource sheet helps you to provide what is the resources you have, whether it is a material, whether it is a person, okay, what is their cost, what is the overtime cost, whether it is a any certain codification. Okay, in which particular group he is going to work on what particular group we are considering the material. Okay, so all this scenario we need to consider in this resource sheet. Okay, after that this resource usage helps you to understand like whatever the resources you utilize for certain tasks are they properly utilized okay or not that particular scenario you can identify from here. After that resource form. This resource form helps you the whatever the allocations we are providing in resource sheet same same format same details will be here but here you can do the scheduling of starting and finishing okay and you can see the what is a delay in that activity and the graphs helps you to identify how much plan versus actual you incurred right so first of all after preparation of the GAN chart and task, you need to go to the resources. So first of all, for me, my main resource is the machineries, right? So I'm typing as a excavator. Okay. So let's open my website because my website will help you for this. Okay. Because wait a minute, let me access my internet connectivity because this website can help me like whatever the labors I am going to utilize for my work. Okay, that's why I'm pro I am taking the reference of this particular website. This particular link, if you go on my website, click on here estimation tool for building. You can see if I click on the you know the excavation work, so it helps me to understand what are the machineries and what are the uh, people going to require so i'm considering that my uh, rock my excavation work is under for like this the helper and the rest work okay so i just go to the msp i just type excavator okay then if i select um, like excavator okay it is a machine so i'm going to select it as a work okay then it is the initial is e right i'm not adding it in any group 100% maximum like how much we are going to use it okay what is the standard rate per hour so i am considering as that uh, 500 rupees per hour if i want to do the overtime for this particular work okay if i want to use for a more than the estimated that it will cost me 300 rupees per hour just consider i am not taking it at accurate okay so and here my base is G plus 10 and I'm considered is as a prorated. Okay. Now after that, second one is let's me see what are the requirements. Okay. So water charges and electricity that I'm not going to consider. Okay. I'm just looking for a machineries, any machineries is required. Okay. So let me give you some more scenario. Excavator, like you can see the back shovel, front shovel, like that we can consider. Okay. Then we require trucks okay we require trucks 
right here cost em considered as a 300 rupees per hour and here consider as overhead as a 200 rupees okay now after that mason we required okay mason is a requirement and that is a work comes under the work i am considering as a 150 uh, 200 rupees per hours and overhead time also consider 200 rupees okay then after that for mason i am considering as a okay like let's go for the other work what are the different different scenarios we have for brick work let's consider some scenario okay so we are considering here as a female uh, like a male coolie we are going to consider let's copy and paste here okay so here i am considered as a 250 rupees 250 rupees okay after that i am considering the female coolie control c okay so you can refer this my website the people who already took this course it is very good for that they can use properly okay they know how to use it right after that you can use bhishti right so oh just wait a minute you can use bhishti over here okay the rate of bhishti i am considering as a 300 rupees over time also 300 rupees okay then i am considering uh, scap folding it is a it is not considered as a work i am considered after work let's come to the plaster work okay so here i am considering the okay supervisor we also required okay let's consider the supervisor okay control c right Control V. Uh oh, just give me one minute. Supervisor, let's try. Right? Here I'm considering 410 rupees, 410 rupees. Just considering the cost. Okay. Then let's consider few for the column. Okay. Let's go to column. Okay. Like Mazdur Vishti blacksmith we required. Okay. Just put blacksmith here. We will type the rate afterward. We required the centering and shuttering person. Okay. Right. Then we required the carpenter and helper to car carpenter. Okay. Carpenter and uh, helper to car carpenter. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to add material also. Okay. So you will get to know what exactly we are going to plan. Okay. Let's go for a tiles. Okay. For here we need the polisher okay just give me one minute so i'm considering the tentative quantity don't worry okay so you can see let's provide the rate for blacksmith i'm assigning 400 rupees same over here for centering and work we are providing 500 rupees here also 500 rupees carpenter we are providing 320 rupees 320 rupees helper to carpenter um, 250 rupees 250 rupees polisher we are assigning it take maximum cost 400 and 400 rupees okay so now this all comes under the work okay this all comes under the work right now let's do add the cement sand coarse aggregate okay steel right then brick okay then white cement okay tiles paint okay then the lubrication oil for a scaffolding lubrication oil right then uh, you require the binding wire okay then you require form work okay like that we consider so now you can see the guys so these are the cement and all this consider as a material right we need to consider it as a material because yeah we want it as a you can just click on m it will consider as a material okay don't ask me about it m so you can see so now just put the cost okay the standard rate there is no any overhead cost for the material remember okay so here uh, what we consider the cement rate as a 320 rupees for sand we are considering like 1600 rupees coarse aggregate 1800 rupees <clears throat> for steel for 1 kg we are considering as the 90 rupees brick work we are considering 7 rupees of one brick then 
for white cement we are considering 380 rupees tiles we are considering 100 rupees per tiles paint we are considering like 160 rupees lubrication soil considering 60 rupees per kg liter binding wire care considering 90 rupees and form of we are considering 100 rupees right so this is what we consider the overall costing over here now you can see if i i just need to save this pair first okay so in this way you need to put okay the material labor cost and the you know machinery cost okay so after that what you have to do just go to the resource usage you can see this all are the resources what we consider over here but their usage is 0 0 why because still we we not it assigned to the task we need to assign it to the task you can see the resource form also but it is not like properly uh, considered over here and you can see the resource usage nothing is over allocated nothing is allocated okay so now let's go to the gantt chart okay now you can see first of all i am going to you know hide few things because i don't have the proper space over here okay or just keep it at this let me reduce it okay let me reduce let me reduce it okay so i can properly procure all the scenario so you can see guys that we want the resource name okay so first of all for documentation there is no any uh resources we required but we can provide the resources okay for that you need to click on this bottom arrow and click on the ha huh, here one engineer is also one required so let's go to the resource sheet <clears throat> just wait a minute just add engineer okay it is a work his rate it like uh, 700 rupees maximum or okay just consider 700 rupees okay so gain chart we are here here in documentations and we required engineer so where is engineer okay here it is engineer okay so you can see the engineer is assigned here right here you can assign one uh, column of cost okay so you can see the cost of the engineer also am i right okay this cost you will get with respect to the durations like for this much durations okay how much cost we is going to incur so if you want to view it in a more format like very like different format so just you can see select this task and go to the resource allocations you can see here like the, it is very important guys to understand how much percentage of the engineer is going to work for this particular activity i want to utilize this engineer for only 80 percentage okay and assign so according to that just give me one minute this 100 percent okay just make it zero okay right that's it so here we need to again do the calculation back calculations okay so first of all we just remove it let's let me remove it just select this go to the assign resources okay we want the engineer where it engineer this one we want as a 80 percentage okay right if i consider 20 percentage okay this cost also need to be changed okay or we consider one 20 percent let's consider as a 80 percentage okay and we consider this cost is calculated okay just give me one minute cost yeah so you can see rate based on the 700 rupees per hour okay you can see this particular cost is calculated okay now you can see the mobilization and plant and machinery so here we are considering as a uh, you know the engineer itself because we require engineer we require the excavator okay or we just consider the engineer only over here okay right so now after that you can see we need to consider this cost column i'll consider in the i'll i'll provide you in the next video and i'll inform you what is this red color also okay that everything i can inform you in the next video right but here it is very important to understand how to assign the resources and how to manage them now making of column and footing so what are the people is required we required okay for that marking of column for that we required the engineer okay we required one uh, one mason okay and we require one uh, male coolie okay these three people were required right after that for excavation work we required the excavator okay okay we required the proper uh, engineer engineering work 
okay engineer is not required like it is a overall work so we consider as a overall person okay we required the male coolie right like this now for a center marking we require the engineer and one male coolie right for pcc work we required one uh, mm, for pcc work we required the mason and male coolie okay that's it now here we are very interested to use the material also so when you work for the pcc work you require the cement okay now how much cement is required that is important so click on this activity assign resources okay go to the cement here we require the unit as we required uh, 5x right so that's it understand we require the sand just go to the sand where it is okay here so we required how many cubic sand we want only one metric cube one metric cube sand the rate we prepared the rate we took it is for the one metric cube so we need to consider one so you can see one metric cube sand over here so you can see this much amount we required then we require coarse aggregate we also required 1.5 cubic okay so according to 1.5 cubic the cost will generate over here okay that's it okay not more than that we required now okay so assign just binding wire we dot assign okay make it zero just remove it okay close so you can see if i maximize it you can see it it is properly okay understand now after that just go to the reinforcement for column so likewise you need to provide all the details so reinforcement for column we need to assign the engineer okay the mason okay then we required the binding wires we require the you know the carpenter we required right we require the form work person right reinforcement for column like all these things you need to consider okay so likewise we are going to consider all these works so in next video i'll come with this details right and i'll come with what is the usage of this what is the meaning of this red color it is a over allocations okay and how to maximize and manage this cost with respect to this resource sheet you can see the resource sheet over here and you can see the resource usage now okay so you can see guys that we have allocated this activity this this task okay this particular mason act assigned for this two act three activity male coolie assigned for this four activity okay female coolie is not at assigned carpenter is assigned cement is assigned sand assigned course aggregate assigned okay engineer is assigned more than for documentations it is over allocations so how to manage over allocations that is also important so you can match from here like he will work for these hours only you can hours for one hours only here so with respect to that you can match the rate of the all tasks okay so all this scenario we are going to understand in the next video you can see the resource form over here okay and you can see the resource graph so in resource graph you can understand like how many like like week wise okay on like uh, thursday friday saturday where is the over allocations okay what is the allocations everything you can see properly and also you can generate the resources report of the resources of the like more reports you can generate in progress okay like you can see just give me one minute like over allocations resources you can see so you will get to know how many over allocations we we done like how many engineers only we have allocated more then we can go for the resources resource overview so you can see what are the resources we assign okay what is actual work yet to be start okay all this scenario at the bottom like remaining words everything you can see you can design and you can save this particular export you can you can export this particular activity okay you can export this particular reports in other formats too okay so guys i hope that you assign you can you learn properly today okay you 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 enjoy this particular video okay so in coming video i'm going to help you with this uh, information very quickly okay so i hope that you will definitely enjoy this uh, videos soon and uh, thank you for watching my video have a nice day bye bye